This is Twit. Last Tuesday, Mozilla's headline read, Firefox rolls out total cookie protection by default to all users worldwide. Woo-hoo. I know. And the big word that's so easily missed, as we know, is default. That's what's changed. Until last Tuesday, sequestered third-party cookies were optionally available. I had them enabled in my Firefox instances, or I guess I should say disabled, which I had to do manually, as I imagine many of this podcast's Firefox users also did after we talked about the option quite a while ago. But until now, it's been an option, which means, of course, that the majority of Firefox users would not have had this enabled since it wasn't the browser's default setting. Now it is. What's most shocking is that, to me, is that it took us this long to get here because it is such an easy place to get to. This this change does not disable third-party cookies. That's the secret. It merely divides the single massive global cookie jar into individual per domain or, you know, as web engineers would say, same origin cookie jars. And, you know, in that matter, any third party is welcome to set a cookie in anyone's browser. But when that user goes somewhere else, the, the cookie jar will be switched to a new jar for that new domain. And again, any third party will be welcome to set their cookie into that jar. But what they will not be able to do is to see the cookie that they had previously set into the same user's same browser when they were visiting that previous domain. And that simple measure kills cookies whose primary purpose had been cross-domain tracking. You, you just do per-origin cookie jars. Again, such a simple measure. You know, the, the idea that it took this long for it to happen is to me astonishing, but it finally happened. This is the now, number, that, this is the problem with cookies, right? I mean, all of these cookie yes. banners and all this miss the point. Cookies yes. are fine. They're necessary. Yes. It's third-party cookies that are the problem. It's actually, it's third-party cookies that that cross that can be domains. read on a first yes. party site. It's the Facebook yes. like button, which gives Facebook a view into that site and who's visiting it. Right. And, and all, all, you know, if, if even in the original Mozilla or Netscape specification for cookies, they said only the site that created the cookie can read it, but they didn't anticipate this loophole that people would embed little bits of other people's sites on their, on their web. Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, and so, so this is, I mean, this is such an easy change. So, okay. Now, all that said, it's not working for me under Firefox version 101.0.1, oh, no. which appears to be the latest. Oh, no. Chrome is wonderful as I have it set currently, and I th I'm sure I went in and tweaked something, but Firefox under its so-called standard privacy and security enhanced tracking protection is doing nothing. I set it to strict and still nothing. I set it to custom, and then I had to tell it to block, cr I, then I told it to block cross-site tracking cookies. It still wasn't. It was necessary for me to turn off all third-party cookies in order to get cross-domain third-party cookie blocking to work. Now, the question is, how do I know? A piece of technology I spent a great deal of time developing many years ago. In fact, I think it was in 08. If I, uh, the, 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 the pages have, have dates on them. So, I mean, this is, I, I've been focused on this third-party cookie problem for a long time. Anyway, it's, it's GRC's Cookie Forensics. If you Google GRC Cookie Forensics, it's the first link that comes up because it's been there since the big dawn of the Internet. And if you click it, it does an instant test of your browser's current cookie handling. 
and we'll show you uh, green for good and red for bad, and uh, and and like and like blank if you're not if if there's no cookie transaction going on. My Firefox, unless I turn off, as I said, all third-party cookies, it's not blocking third-party cookies. I, I actually maintain a separate domain, grctech.com, just for this purpose. I created a third party so that I could I could experiment and, and then automate that testing in order to show people what their browser was doing. So anyway, I just, I wanted to say that Great news that Firefox says they're doing this, but it, it doesn't seem to be working. Uh, and, I, I, you know, so anyway, GRC cookie forensics for anyone who is uh, who is interested. Uh, and hopefully they'll get it working at some point. Maybe and, and they did say they're rolling it out. So maybe that's what's going on is that I'm not I've not been rolled on <laughs> it hasn't been rolled out to me yet or you know maybe they're tiptoeing i don't know uh so but boy chrome looks great the way i've got it set up it, it just comes back com you know completely happy and in fact i have a different page it's slash cookies grc.com slash cookies slash stats dot htm and that shows a series of bar graphs. Again, you can see it's, it's been a long time since I've been there, since I have IE version 5 and IE version 6 and <laughs> IE version 7 that I'm tracking and a bunch of others. But I also have Chrome. And boy, it used to be, the bars used to be all the way at the top. Now, th and these are GRC's visitors. GRC's visitors all have Chrome. They're Chrome blocking third-party cookies. Maybe that's the default now in Chrome. And i once talked about that and I've forgotten it. I don't know. Yep. So now you're showing the the cookie forensics uh, on the on the site, and if you and see all those red. If you scroll down into that second group of red, that's all bad. That th those are those are third party session and persistent cookies that were just. You can see it says oldest cookie was one second old. So that way they were just. Set Is this my pay? Is this my browser? Yes. Oh, funny. I'm on uh, Firefox. Yeah, I know. And it's oh. not good. Hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. Huh. And if you were to go under, uh, if you go in, in, in the, the hamburger menu to settings and, let's see, what is it? Settings. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, I see what uh, I'm doing here. Privacy yeah. and security. And then enhance, and then you get there. And then, yeah, privacy and oh, security. Oh, see, I'm on standard. Now, Usually I'll run under custom. Okay, now do that now. Yeah. And normally, you, it tells you you need to refresh your page. It didn't tell you that you have to do that. So all third-party cookies, they don't want to block those. And I know why. Sometimes third-party cookies are from image servers that are really first-party, but they're on a different URL or different uh, IP address. So which would I want on this? Well, uh, try just instead of doing custom, try doing so. First of all, in, strict in, if should you do were, it, right? Yeah, let's strict see. should do it. Yeah. Oh, and that does say re reload refresh tabs. your tabs. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now go back to GRC. So social media trackers, cross site cookies in all windows. Okay, good. All right. Yeah. Now exactly. let's go back should and work. refresh. Now, if you scroll down, there is a button that I have, or or, or you can do that. Yep. Uh oh. S still bad. Worse. Did not. <laughs> I know it, it, it did not. Fix There's it. one more red dot than there was last time. Yep, the icons. Uh, yeah, exactly. And so now go back over, and if you go to strict, I'll go back to. I'll 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 make it even stronger. Custom is yep. more than strict, right? If I do custom, yes, then I can say, let's block a lot of crap here. <laughs> so what should I what should I block? I had to turn them all off. I and see all cookies. So, no, I, I had to. Well, third, no, no, no. Third, third party, party cookies. But that's right. extreme. And then the point is that should no longer be necessary. Yeah. Let me refresh. Yep. And uh, oh, I still have uh, I, icons are, are going to always be a problem. I guess <laughs> icon, icon. But and now these are empty. What does that mean? Yes, no third that party means cookies. No received. third party session cookies Got were it. received from your browser. Okay. Yep. So it's it's not green, it's empty. That means there was it's, no cookie at all. 
Correct. And then, and you know, green would be okay, right? First and, and, party. And orange, that uh, orange meant that an older cookie was received, right. but that's not that big a problem. Right. But but it was necessary for you to go all the way yes. to blocking all third party, not not the default that they say they're going to be supporting, and not even only black blocking tracking cookies. But as you said, Mozilla was maintaining a list of sites that they were blocking, which I thought was unfortunate, but they're still not doing the right thing. Generally at home, you know, I think I turned this to standard only because of the show. Cause, right. Because generally at home I run a uh, custom, but I don't turn, I just do, cr I just do cross site. I do like this setting. Um, but okay. So now cross site tracking cookies block cross site tracking cookies and isolate other cross site cookies. Yeah. You would think that would be enough. That should be enough. Yes. But it's not. <laughs> no. So re refresh the page. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess I'm. I'm gonna. I'm because this is the problem. Is that I think everybody's scared off when they do this because it says this is gonna break stuff. This is gonna may cause websites to break. And as my experience well, is, it does sometimes. Yeah. And and, and yes, and the other problem is that what, you know when Mozilla announces this, we just assume, oh, good, it's all good now. Well, you know, as no, they say, trust, but, ver trust yeah. but verify. So, and grc.com slash cookies. That's uh, very valuable. Yeah. Will that get me there? Or do I have to type in forensics as well? No, I think grc.com slash cookies probably takes you. I think the first page has a cookie monster yes. saying, delete, delete cookies. cookies? <laughs> 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 and then this good because it's an explainer, which is a good thing. Yes, uh, you know yeah, me. Yeah, Back yeah, in those yeah. days, I was doing a lot of yeah, explaining. Yeah, now we keep you busy with a show you don't get to. <laughs> That's right. So that uh, and spin right. And then this is it. The bottom link is the web cookie operation. Uh, actually, it's the third link there in that block of links. There's cookie a whole forensics. Bunch. There it is. Okay. Cookie forensics. Yep. Yeah. Nice. This is a yep. great tool. Thank you. For, I knew about it, but I forgot. So thanks for yeah. reminding me. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. So we will see if they're going to roll it out and eventually get it right. And the cookie forensics page lets us find out real quickly. Yeah.